India's military base has been activated as the tension in Ladakh is escalating. Japan supports India and China sends ships to the Japanese water after Japan extends its support for India. U.S. Navy carrier ships has arrived in South China Sea. Indian Air Force jets actively flying near the India-China border. India's frontline jets Su-30 MKI and MIG-29s are actively flying to the Indian skies in Ladakh. As the Galwan Valley situation is escalating, Indian Air Force have deployed its frontline jets. Also, along with the transport airplanes like C-17 and C-130J are being kept ready along with Apache helicopters and Chinook heavy lift helicopters, according to an ANA Indian media report. The entire base in Ladakh is so active, the Indian Air Force Wing commander said, the Indian Air Force is fully prepared for operations and ready to meet all challenges. Along with this, India has activated and fastened the works in Andaman and Nicobar Islands, which is India's only tri-service base with Army, Navy and the Air Force. Now India has increased and fastened the military infrastructure development in their islands. This is the most important military outpost and base which overlooks every movement into and from East Asia, which is important trade route for China. The Andaman and Nicobar Islands Air Base runway will be extended now so that the bigger airplanes can land and take off quickly. If India wants, it can stop every ship entering into the Malacca Strait. The island to get more infantry battalions, surface to air defense systems, MA 17 VV helicopters, transport airplanes, patrol planes, and more Air Force jets. Already, the Air Force jets of Sukhai 30 MK are the main state jets operated in this island. While India is gearing up against the Chinese, the world countries are lining up to support India. France said it will do steadfast work anything for India whenever it wanted. Already, US Defense Minister has welcomed all the efforts of India against China. Also, the US said that sending 50,000 troops to India, Philippines, Malaysia, etc. US also said that if India wants anything, they are ready to give as soon as possible. Japan also gave its support for India against China a few days ago. UK is also rethinking its relationship with Pakistan and China as the tensions against China and India is increasing. The UN Prime Minister has said the China-India situation is worrying him. Russia already has said that it will provide all the military equipment India needed on a daily basis. Mr. Modi, the Prime Minister of India, and Mr. Putin of Russia had talked in a telephonic conversation and shared thoughts on India-China situation. While Japan has stretched its supports to India, China sends its Navy ships to the Japanese water. As per the media reports, two Chinese patrol ships have entered the disputed Japanese island waters. Already Japan has warned China on its intrusion long before. While these are going on, US aircraft carrier conducts naval exercises in South China Sea. Now China is trying to blame everything on other countries, like India was the reason for the Ladakh situations, US is the reason for the Hong Kong, Japan and the Asian countries are stealing its territory, and Canada has joined the list of this on criticizing of on Hong Kong's new law. While Indian Air Force so actively now than before, everything around India is under full surveillance of Indian Air Force. So what do you think of India? getting so much support which is pouring in for India and Indian Air Force is getting ready for all possibilities and challenges from China. Can it defend and get all this?
China's military expenditure is almost four times that of India, with the letters of armed forces also getting hobbled by the ballooning revenue expenditure and the pension bills. The US, of course, is the world's largest spender of the defense, with the military expenditure almost equal to the next eight countries combined. China, which has registered a different budget hike for 24 consecutive years, of course wants to the rival US and the global stage as well as to prevent its military intervention in the Taiwan Strait and the continuous South China Sea. India, however, has no option but to ready for its expansionist behavior both along the 4057 kilometers of line of control as well as the Indian Ocean region. But while China has undertaken rapid military modernization, including the manpower cuts in its 2.3 million people liberation army or the PLA, while also emerging as the world's fifth largest arm exporter, India has dragged its feet in both reforming its armed forces and boosting indigenous defense production. The latest data released by the global think tank, the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute or the SAPRI, shows the total world's military expenditure rose by 2.6 percent to 1,822 billion dollars in 2018. The top biggest spenders in 2018 were US $614 billion, China with $250 billion, Saudi Arabia with $67.6 .6 billion just above 1 percent of India, and India with $66.5 billion and France with $63.8 billion, Russia with $61.4 billion, UK with $50 billion, Germany with $49.5 billion, Japan with $46.6 million, South Korea with $43.1 billion, Brazil with $27.8 billion, Australia with $26.7 billion. Overall, the Indian military budget leaves just about one-fourth of its $66.5 billion figures for military modernization and new open system. So despite India being the world's fourth largest defense spender by replacing even Russia with $61.4 billion, its armed forces continue to suffer from the critical shortage of several fronts and ranging from fighter jets and submarines to basic infantry weapons and night fighting capabilities of Indian military. The Defense Insider says the Indian armed force drastically need to slash their non-operational flab and manpower, especially in 12 lakh strong army, as well as the take to genuine integration in a big way. There is simply not enough money. The capital allocations for the defense already stands at 32 to 33 percent of the total central government's capital expenditure said the senior official to a news report. China, for instance, has reorganized the PLA into five theater commands to bolster its offensive capabilities as well as establish better command and control structures. Its Western Theater Command now handles the entire LAC with India instead of earlier Chengura military region in the east and the Lanzhou military region towards the north. India in turn has over half a dozen separate army and IAF commands for the northern and land borders with China, without any forward movement in the establishment theater commands as was reported to the news report. So what do you think of the top 10 highest military budget countries which have been ranked from 1 to 10 in 2018-2019, while India has the fourth biggest budgeters of military expenditure in the world, only one-fourth of its military budget is used for modernizing and buying weapons. Post your comments below and if you like this video please give a thumbs up and follow us on social networks and subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching, this is WC Daily. Think big, think different. Bye.